couple, we're going to do some astronomy stuff again. So I'm going to show the relationship of the light year and the AU. The AU stands for astronomical unit. And it is the distance, uh, the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. And it uh, corresponds to, I'm going to give the exact value here, 1.4959. Seven eight seven oh six times ten to the eleven uh, meters. So that's the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. That's the astronomical unit. The light year is the distance that light travels in one year. So if you were to travel at the speed of light, imagine how far you would go. Well, how do we calculate the light year? Well, you take the speed of light. Uh, distance, the light year is a unit of distance, so you take the velocity of light, you multiply it by t, which is one year. Well, velocity of light is usually written as c. So the speed of light is, um, exact value again, is 2.997924. Uh, times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So it's almost abbreviated as 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Then you multiply that by one year. Okay? Well, one year would be approximately 365 and a quarter days. So you multiply this by 365 and a quarter days. It's not exactly exactly. And then one day is 24 hours. And then each hour is 3,600 seconds. Okay? So you multiply by the number of days in the year, number of hours per day, and number of seconds per hour. So the distance of one light year comes out to be 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. Okay? So that's quite quite far. Uh, you could kind of remember it this way. One light year, change this to kilometer. Since uh, 10 to the third meters is a kilometer, you can write it as 10 to the 12 kilometers. And then this is a trillion. So one light year is approximately nine and a half a trillion kilometers. And if you even want to remember it in terms of a mile, one uh, mile is 1.6 kilometer. So divide 9.46 by 1.6, you get 5.9. So approximately 5.9 trillion miles. So imagine the, uh, one, if you travel at the speed of light, you would go 9.5 trillion kilometers or 5.9. So basically you're switching them, right? Instead of nine and a half, you're doing 5.9 your trillion miles. Imagine how far a distance that is. The closest star to us is 4.22 light years. So it, it means it's four times as far away as this. So four times nine and a half, that's about 38. 30, the closest star to us is 38 trillion kilometers away from us, which is known as Proxima Centauri. The next closest star is Alpha Centauri, which is a star that is a little brighter than the, our sun. Alpha Centauri, that one is a little bit farther, maybe 38 point something something um, uh, trillion uh, kilometers. So imagine how far that is. And those are the closest stars to us. Now let's show the relationship between the light year and the AU, okay? How many Earth distances is uh, one light year? Well, you would just divide the two, right? Divide this by uh, nine, uh, by this distance here, okay? 1.4959. 
But since I have collaborator here, I would have to do like this. 10 to the 8, subtract 3 from this also, and then express it as kilometer. So divide the two distances. The kilometer, kilometer cancel. So I have uh, 9.46 divided by 1.4959787 times 10 to the 12 over 10 to the 8 is 10 to the 4. 63,236. 63,236. Just to give you a little appreciation of what that means. If Earth, if the Sun is here and the Earth is here, this is one AU, I would have to literally put my fingers this way, a span 63,000 of these. That's one AU. So imagine 63,000 of these that would equal one light year. Now, where would that take me? I couldn't even walk that far. So that's one light year. Then the closest star to us is 4.2 light years away. So how many AUs is that in terms of AU? So 4.2 times 63,000, 265,000 AUs. 265,000. They use this is approximately. So I would have to take my fingers this way, put 265,000 times until I reached my closest star to our sun. So imagine that is a long, long, long distance, huge distance. Now the other thing I could also ask here is this: traveling at the speed of light, how long does it take light to get from the sun to us? Okay, traveling at the speed of light, how long does it take light? So uh, what would you have to do? So if the light leaves the sun and travels to earth, distance is equal to speed of light times t. The distance is 1.4959787.06 is equal to speed of light, which is this thing, 2.99792458 times 10 to the 8 time. This will tell us how many seconds it takes light to get to us from the sun. So 1.4959 times 10 to the 11. So 1.4959787.06 divided by 2. 0.9979 times 10 to the 11th divided by 10 to the 8th is uh, 10 to the 3rd. I get T is equal to 499.00 seconds. Okay, how many minutes is that? 60 seconds is one minute. 8.3 minutes. So it takes light 8.3 minutes to get here from the sun. That means we see the sun as it was eight minutes ago. You never see the present of the sun. You never see the present uh, of any other star. So if the sun were to disappear right now, we would not know about it until eight minutes later. Okay, so now you can see the relationship between the AU, the light year, and the uh, and also the light year and the kilometers and meters and all of that. And you also see how long it takes light to get here from the sun. In the next video, I'm going to show you the relationship between the parsec and the light year. Thank you.